hey guys and welcome back to my channel i uh, just leaned back and almost felt like i was gonna fall out my window so hey um welcome back to your girl's channel um if you haven't already please like subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know every time i come on here running my mouth because i love to run it um your girl just got her breast reduction packet in the mail telling me everything to do to get ready for my surgery so yeah it's almost that time mm -mm 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 -mm. so yeah i'm more excited than i let on but i'm i'm very very excited um so i got everything in the mail today i got my um consent um, I got my directions on what not to eat, what to eat, what I can and can't do before the surgery, um, and that I need to, three days prior to my surgery, I need to wash with, um, I might mess this word up, Hyblissa Cleanse, Skin Cleanser, which I already have some and I've already been using it on and off to get ready for the surgery. Um, I can't eat anything after midnight, of course, of course, of course. Um, and I have to stop two weeks prior to your surgery. You have to stop taking any and all herbal supplements, diet pills, oils, fish, flaxseed, etc. Um, 10 days prior to your surgery, you cannot have aspirin, ibuprofen, Advil. You can't have Aleve, which is naproxen. You can't have any other, uh, type of pain medications in that family. Five days prior, uh, there's a few things that you can't have. Five days prior? I don't know if you guys can see that. Little list. It's probably backwards as hell. And y'all probably like, why did she even put that up there? Because we can't read it. Yeah. So just some things like that. Then I just got my little booklet. Telling me um, that I have to be at the surgery center at 630. But my surgery is not until 8 o'clock. Why do they have you come so early to your surgery, you ask? If you've never had a major surgery or never had any surgery, it's to get you uh, signed in, run your insurance, collect any copays that is due at the time. Um, then they usually take me back. They're going to start my IV with fluids, um, get me dressed down into my gown. I'm not sure if I'll have to keep my underwear on or off for this, but maybe off because I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a catheter or not but um yeah so whatever i've had a catheter before it's not a big deal it pinches a little going in but if you're under you don't even know you got it in so they're going to have me under general anesthesia which means that i will be unaware of any sensations throughout my whole entire body which that's what we want right we don't want to be feeling no prickly pain uh what else diet instructions before the surgery Fasting is required, so I cannot eat or drink anything after midnight. Okay, so every time, every time they tell me this, y'all, I be so hungry. Like I'll wake up at like one o'clock, like <laughs> so parched and thirsty. And I used to be like, why can't you eat anything? Why? Why do they starve you? Why? It doesn't make sense. They're not messing with my stomach. Well, if you haven't ever had surgery, the reason is be they told me because when you're under, if you know you have acid reflux or some, if it if it tried the food tries to come up for whatever reason or water or whatever liquids are in your stomach, it could choke you and then you could die. But that ain't gonna happen to you, girl, because I'm blessed. What times two times three? Blessed up, blessed up, and blessed up. Um. Yeah, so I got to stay in the hospital for 23 hours so that they can observe me, which means basically I won't be getting any. If you've ever slept in the hospital, had a baby, had surgery, went to visit somebody and slept in the hospital, you know, you can't get any sleep in there. Then folks come in, flick light, flick light. But guess what? I ain't tripping because as soon as it's over, and I tell me I can be picked up. My husband is going to be skirt, skirt, coming to get me. Um, with COVID, I asked he he was wanting to spend the night. But with COVID, uh, I don't think so that they're going to let him stay the night with me there, which is fine because all I'm going to be doing is sleeping. And I want him to 
go home, relax, you know, take a shower, chill out, do his thing so he can be re relaxed and mentally ready to receive me when I come home because, yeah, your girl probably be looking like a zombie. But I just wanted to update you guys on the breast reduction and everything that was going on every step of the way. I told y'all I was going to let y'all know the real, real so that if any of my breast reduction sisters are out there thinking about this and they have been wanting this for a long time, like I've been legit wanting this for probably 15 years. Um, so look, you see, I don't know if you guys can really see, but don't look at my background and be trying to talk about me and stuff. Cause I know how y'all do, but you see, these are G's. These are, this is too much. Even with a bra, they're, they're down. So, you know, I want people to see me for me and not be like, you know, see now y'all can see them, right? You can see them. And if I can get rid of some of this stomach, honey, and these balloon breasts, these Dolly Partons, and if you didn't know, these I am a G cup. What am I hoping to go down to? Uh, You have to be realistic here. You know, a lot of times we'll say, you know, I, I, I first I was like, I want to be a B cup. I want to be a B cup. That's not realistic. And you can't go in there from a G down to a B. First of all, I would look unproportioned. Um, but, and then I had this, I had my gut, you know, I got this gut on me. So, you know, that gut, that gut going to be sticking out even more. My gut do stick out more than my butt. No, I ain't about to show y'all my butt. I ain't no Tatiana. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so realistically, I would like to go down to maybe a large C, small D. And I feel like that will help me out a lot because my back, y'all, my back be, oh, my back be hurting. And I just feel like I'm just, hang, just got all this weight, like, just, just, ugh. Like, you know what I mean? Pulling me to the front. I feel like when I get through having my breast reduction surgery, I might fall backwards because I'm so used to having all this weight pulling me forward. I'm going to be, I'm going to be like a weeble wobble. I ain't going to know how to hold myself up. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And I am, as my great grandmother would say, top heavy. Um, and a lot of women in my family, uh, well, not a lot. Me, one of my aunts. And maybe one of my cousins on my mom's side have large breasts. Everyone else has like smaller proportion breasts. Lucky. Um, but on my dad's side of the family, yeah. I recognize all my cousins over there by their boobs. I can see them from 10 rows over at Walmart. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's one of my cousins. So, yeah. So, your girl is... Just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what's going on. You know, I try to stay upbeat about everything. If you drop your comment below, I will make sure that I answer any comments that you leave me. Um, please like and share this video. Um, yeah, and I'm going to keep bringing it back to y'all. Bringing it back. Hopefully this wasn't too dry or drawn out and you got to stay with me through the whole thing. Um, I do have to fill out some of these papers in here in this consent initial on some of these pages saying that I understand, you know, uh, what the results are and that they can't, uh, guarantee or, uh, anything, you know, and every, with everything, there's a risk. Um, so yeah, um, I'm done having kids, so I'm not worried about breastfeeding and, uh, yeah, pretty much the, the big girls are going to be gone. So, yes, as um, I understand what my surgeon can and cannot do. So, I understand that there are no warranties or guarantees I have hinted at or stated outright about the outcome of the surgery. Um, this is a bilateral breast reduction that I'm having. And bilateral just means both sides. So, if you ever hear someone in the medical field say bilateral, just know that it just means both sides. And that could go for ears or anything you have to of. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep coming to my page. Keep liking my stuff and we're going to keep rocking it out because that's what we do. And have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed up. Stay away from negative energy. And remember anything you put your mind to or anything that you want, you can do. Three things you need to always remember in life is if somebody is not motivating you, supporting you, or loving you, why do you have them in your life? So have a good one and um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.